Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new League SBC Avia, Avia card? Avila card? We'll call him Avila. Uh, we, we have the new Avila card to review today. We're looking at a card that is 5'8 with high, high work rates, left footed with 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. So it's very, very important that he has the 4 star weak foot over the skill moves because I personally prefer that. Now, Obviously, with this card, he is five foot eight, which is kind of small. But the high, high work rates and potentially good dribbling could be a beneficial thing with this card in regards to his specifics, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at 94 acceleration, with 98 sprint speed. You don't have to improve that, right? In regards to his finishing, his dribbling, and his physicalities, um, you know, we're looking pretty decent in regards to upgrades because my. I think you guys have a pretty good understanding of which chemistry style I'll give him. I'd most likely give him a marksman chemistry style. I kind of want to see what people on Footbin decide to give him. I can guarantee you any money people probably gave him a dead eye just because of the attacking positioning being low. But to be honest with you guys, I just need his dribbling to be responsive. You know what I mean? So let's go take a look at this card right now. We have... Oh, people gave him a sniper chemistry style. A sniper? Why? Oh, I mean, it's... You know what? Yeah, a sniper is pretty significant, actually. Yeah, I'd probably give him a sniper, actually. 94 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. He has 99 finishing, 94 shot power, but it's the dribbling and the agility and the composure boost that drastically changes a card for him to be significantly better, in all fairness. Because he already has a physical presence in the game in regards to actual physicality, not the 5'8 height. Because, yeah, your player can have the physical traits, obviously, but... If he doesn't have the height nor body for it, he's going to get out-bodied off the ball anyways. I'm probably going to have to get a new Xbox controller, boys, because this one is completely screwed. D-pad doesn't work, LB doesn't work, so we're going to have to compensate a lot. My charging thing chooses when it goes on. And, oh, and it's on. Nice. So, um, yeah, regardless of that fact, this card's going to be very interesting to try out because... I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's uh, like, he's got great stats, but it feels like a concept card. You know what I'm saying? So... We'll see what's up. We have a random team that my boy put together over here. He unlocked this card. You know there was a freaking SBC where each card was costing like 15k. I was like, I don't remember which one it was, but it was just a bunch of silver players you have to get for certain positions. And it was a little bit absurd, right? So, um, but tis FIFA, tis FIFA. All right, guys. So, we're going to be using him on uh, just balance instructions. Uh, conservative interceptions, is that because of his stamina? Stamina's at 80. Okay, conservative interceptions would make sense for him. 80 stamina is really not that good to have, right? Uh, so yeah, we'll keep one conservative on balance. We won't tell him to come back to defense. The rest we will, why not? And uh, yeah, we'll, t we'll basically just take it from there. So you guys know the dealios with the striker reviews. We just have to see what he's like off the ball-wise. What is he like dribbling with the ball at his feet? All that fun stuff. Hopefully my controller doesn't disconnect when I am reviewing this card. All right, we have to be careful with the D-pad, or else if I if I if I move it one more time, the right side of my D-pad doesn't work. So, <laughs> all right. So so far in the striker position, he's kind of like staying central for now. We'll see what he's like if I go into this space right here. Doesn't aggressively move into that space just yet. We're gonna have to test it out more when we're actually kind of closer, like in this general area. I mean, he's uh, he's pretty fast in regards to taking a touch and passing it instantly right there, so that's not too bad. Okay, so you can see right off the bat, guys, that with the uh, balance instructions, he actually does push out wide. So he's definitely going to be one of those types of strikers that are going to be constantly moving. Um, if you guys remember, when I did the review for Mariano's card, uh, he does very similar things in the striker position, right? So I do expect um, Avila to do the same thing... Um, I think his name is Avia. Avia. We're gonna call him Avila though, just in case. We're gonna get the English version before the Spanish dudes are like, No! I couldn't believe this! Oh, that was supposed to be a no trigger shield, but we'll take it. Oh, okay. Try a shot from that angle. Ooh, good tackle. He kind of feels like Aguero sometimes. Like, uh, the way that he moves in regards to being in the striker position. Like, he's not... Like, he's going to definitely run to the side sometimes, but he feels kind of like target man oriented a little bit. Like, right now, he's not super aggressively pushing into position. He's th he's in the position there now. Shot across goal. Ooh, not a bad, not a bad finish, not a bad finish. Try a finesse shot from there. Hey, I mean, not the best. Not the best. 
That's what under under pressure, by the way, is right. So we're not we're trying it without the sniper chemistry style. So you can kind of see in a situation like that, you may actually want to give him the sniper chemistry style for that composure boost. Probably would be a beneficial thing for sure. I like his positioning though. He definitely offers himself in the team quite a bit, which is fantastic. I like when my strikers are offer themselves a lot. Good off the ball moon with the other attacker right there, actually. Um, I will say that his height is pretty noticeable. Um, I do think the sniper, uh, the sniper chemistry style can drastically help this card in all fairness because the way that he's moving right now is actually kind of nice. So that's what I'll say so far about the card, guys. I think that if you give him the sniper chemistry style, it'll probably be the most ideal. Like, obviously, we like to try out the cards with the basic just to see what it's like and see... Um, if Sniper is the exact same one that I actually do want to give him, and to be honest with you guys, it does feel like that would be the best uh, course of action so far, right? So, Yeah, it pushes a little bit out wide, but then gets back into position quickly, so that's good. We do this here, play off of this player right here, maybe get a chip shot? Ah! Uh, what I'll say about the card so far is that I think on the market right now, uh, in regards to actually buying the players to complete the SBC, this card costs like 300k. He's definitely not a 300k card, but he's incredibly usable. He actually feels fun to use, you know? So if you know if you guys have any sentimental value towards this card, whether you're Argentinian or um, you just like the team that he plays for, he's definitely he's definitely not crap up there, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, It's nice. See how he moves over here. There we go. Uh, oh, this, okay. <laughs> um, so the reason why you want to test those specific passes right there, guys, is because when you make that pass, what you expect your attackers to do is to do that cut inside run right after you make that pass in the cam area, right? Because what happens here when you make that pass is that they kind of transition right into the middle space to score their opportunities. And uh, obviously that's the most ideal situation for yourself. The fact that this card is a left-footed card um, definitely makes me enjoy the card more because I have a huge uh, like towards left-footed cards that have a four-star weak foot or a five-star weak foot. So definitely a little bit of favoritism in regards to that. But I will say the card feels extremely usable and this is without any chemistry style on it. I really do think that with the sniper chemistry style, he'd actually be really fun to play with for sure. His height doesn't actually seem to be a problem so far because of the fact that his his uh his body type in game is really stockish um it's a really stockish body type and i don't really feel like his height is really being like a nuisance in the way that he attacks right so pretty fun in that regard as well Ooh, good run right there Pretty agile too when he runs. Yeah, he doesn't feel like really stockish when he runs, which is really good. You see the position that he has here? So he plays off of the guys making those runs right there, right? Like that one. Left stick dribbling, really responsive. We'll try a long distance shot. Not necessarily the greatest in regards to uh, certain angles, a little bounce of the ball right there, right? You kind of have to like judge those a little bit before you uh, put a certain amount of shot power in. I'm enjoying the card though. It's a, it doesn't he doesn't feel like a nuisance in the team, you know? Like when I looked at his stats, I was like, oh, this guy's like pretty pretty generic. Which I do think he is in regards to price. Like 300k is absurd for this card, but he's fun, man. Look at his off the ball movement in situations like that, right? Like that that position right there, I like that he's not stagnant, right? You can see that he starts cutting inside instantly, which is really nice. Alright, so Mariano, striker, touch. Yeah, his his uh, his dribbling is really nice, man. Near post strike, nice goal. Yeah, he's fun, man. I, I thought I thought his body type would make him a little bit more like I don't know, like have you if you guys ever use like Wayne Rooney's card, like Wayne Rooney feels like a physical type dribbler, you know. But this card, he feels like pretty nice. He feels usable, you know. Watch if I make this pass, instant run, go upwards. Oh, he was downwards that time. Upwards, stays downwards. Okay, let's see what he does over here. That's not too bad, actually. He's probably going to get into a position here to score that opportunity, too, yeah. I mean, he's, he's doing okay off the ball-wise. It's not, like, amazing. It's not like a, like, a, like a, oh, my God, like, this off-the-ball movement is incredible, but the card feels incredibly usable, my dudes. Like, uh, he's taking really nice shots, 
I feel like the way he's positioning himself in the striker position is incredibly usable as well. Um, I like to use the word usable because if you guys are doing this Liga Santander SPC, don't think of it in regards to like, I'm spending 300k. Like if you guys are not doing the bronze pack method, it's obviously not worth getting from price value, right? But um, if you're getting it from the bronze pack method, it's like a really cool Liga Santander striker. They don't really have too many uh, crazy ones that you can essentially get for free, right? So, oh, Mariano has a ball here. Nope. Ooh, nice little physical presence right there. Let's go. Ball roll. Get the angle with the left foot right there. Nicely done. How do you move here? Cuts inside. Good. So he, has, he wants to play to his position instantly, which is good in that situation. We'll make this pass here. Goes back into the middle perfectly. Really nice. We'll go over here. Yeah, it goes back into the middle again. My dribbles are a little bit off because my controller is literally broken. So it's, it's doing all this extra like weird stuff, but... You can definitely see that the way he's moving is incredibly usable, for sure. Ooh! Touch again. Get that near post angle. Oh, I hit the post. With higher finishing stats, I probably actually scored that opportunity with the sniper chemistry style. Alright guys, so final verdict on Avila's card is... Oh, look at them actually changing the actual body type. Okay, Fulvin, I see I seen to you, I seen to you. Um, in regards to how he feels in game, guys, I think uh, I think a sniper chemistry style would actually be really, really beneficial for this card, right? Because the agility plus ten, the dribbling plus ten, and the composure plus five, while you also have ninety nine finishing with ninety four shot power, will make this card significantly better. Attacking positioning was would also be improved with the eighty eight attacking positioning. It's not you shouldn't expect his off the ball movement to be like Jamie Vardy, right? Jimmy Vardy's off-the-ball movement is crazy. which Charleston has great off-the-ball movement as well. You shouldn't expect it to be on that level, but it's a level where it's incredibly usable in the game, right? Like some strikers, they just don't really do that well movement-wise. And it's also because of the fact that he is a high, high worker player that allows him to move like that. Um, 80 stamina is not necessarily a huge problem. Just tell him to be on conservative interceptions balanced on the forward or you could tell him to just stay forward it's really up to you um the pace on the card i'm not gonna say i really noticed the pace too much but you know most cards will have around this pace anyways from base card stats from the team of seasons usually nowadays from uh the higher up cards physical attributes with the card was actually kind of noticeable with his height a tiny bit right it, he felt like a pit bull in game right because his dribbling was actually quite responsive without the chemistry style so with it i definitely feel like the card would be significantly improved like i said this card is nowhere near worth the value of 310k but obviously when you do these league sbcs you're mostly doing it through the bronze pack method so you know, if you pay like 40, 50K for this card and you want to use them for fun or you want to put them into an SBC, then it would definitely be uh, worth doing uh, and playing with the card in regards to that. I don't think he's like this amazing card, obviously, but um, he was really usable. I thought I thought he was going to be like a huge concept card, like, uh, I don't know, like a Gonzalo Getch Footmiss card. Like he's usable, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like... I feel like uh, this card gives me those same vibes as well. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend if you guys are doing it for price value, but if you're doing it through the bronze pack method and you have to pay a little bit more for it, then not too bad. Um, guys, thank you guys so much for the support on the YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. A lot of the reviews that we're going to get for some players, Benzema, Suarez, De Jong, we're going to probably get those guys on the Tuesday. So a lot of these days for now is just going to be SBC content, which is good for me. I got to take a little break, you know, because you, you guys know I'll be uploading the videos. So uh, yeah, when that day comes, then we'll uh, we'll try to get more reviews out for you guys. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video and all the videos on the channel. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.